have you ever woke up and wondered what was wrong with you? You knew you wanted to be elsewhere, that there was more to life than the life you were living, more than the bills you were paying, the job you were keeping. Look to the horizon, to the sunsets. Your answer is there. Put your feet on the ground and take a deep breath and step into the nomadic lifestyle. You will not regret it. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? So, when I first got my little apartment, I gave everybody a tour. And you know what? They had this dark, dingy wood on everything. Let that adjust. And everybody kept saying, you should paint that place and make it your own. Well, guess what, guys? That's exactly what I did. I painted my little house. I didn't do the ceilings because, frankly, they got plastic strips up there and I'm scared. <laughs> um, this is my little studio. Um, in this picture, my son made me that. Uh, my twin made me that uh, in 2000, and I think it's 7 or 8. Um, this is me when I was 50, my daughter when she was 12, my twin at 13, and my oldest son, I think he was like 20. Um, so, yeah, the air conditioner area above the closet. You guys, I left all the, these are all solid wood. I didn't touch them. I'm not touching them. That's like stripping and varnishing. I got him those. Uh, yeah, curl's not doing it. Not, um, yeah, it's like me doing the ceiling. And that's not happening anytime soon. So anyway, um, my bed, it's a futon. I pull it out. Let's see. So that's my living room. I know, right? What a difference, you guys. You remember those videos, and if you don't, you can go back and view them and my little stackable dressers and then I have this little area here I hang all my hoodies and sweaters because I'm always cold my key rack backpacks purses extra seating so I did the kitchen as well we'll head that way so I, I know does that look bad or what I love my house look at the ceiling guys I'm not touching that Manager goes, just use kills. <laughs> yeah, I already used kills. I'm going to tell you what. Three coats on these walls kicked this girl's butt. My little table. I still have to arrange this stuff. Not bad, though, but that's where I sit to do my videos. You'll notice I moved my mirror. Let's see. Yeah, I, I actually, I love my new house. Okay, you guys ask about my pictures. My oldest granddaughter, when she was two... Uh, my oldest son, when he was about five, my dad, my mother. And then over here is my oldest son at five, my nephew, my niece, my nephew, me and my three kids, and I blotted out my ex-husband's face. That's me at 12, my daughter, right? You guys see this? This is my daughter at 12. She was 18 here, 12. Uh, here she is at 12. That's me, and that's my twin Garrett. My oldest son, Brent, at 18. My twin Garrett at 15. This is my mother-in-law, father-in-law. And right there in the middle of that little face, that's my ex-husband. So that's my pictures, guys. <laughs> yeah, people have been asking about that. Oh, here's my granddaughter. My favorite sign, and you always aim it <laughs> toward a no-door. Get a stone hippie in there and watch how fast that confuses them. There's my granddaughter. When she was about eight months learning how to crawl. There's where I put my license plates. Now, this area, I used to have the microwave and the toaster oven. So I moved that and I put up a shelf and I made this my spice area. Um, above my sink, where my curtains are. And then above that, and then this is the area I, I normally do my videos in. I move my dish rack, but you'll notice the cutting board and my sink. And I usually put my camera right in that cupboard. I had a lady ask me, how do you do your videos like that? Anyway, I redid this, this back wall. It was disgusting. 
you guys, it was disgusting. So that's like a peel and stick background, um, yeah, grease guard, but it works. It came out nice. Um, I use a hot plate because this full oven, when they hook it up, it smells like natural gas, and I hate that smell. So just saying. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, we're going to, I did my bathroom. Yeah, that, that was quite the chore. Let's go in there. Turn on a light for you. Tammy, hi! Okay, guys. Um, I started here in the sink area and put up a shelf. I, I have my swing out mirror. This looks different. I know you remember. I took down my tie dye skirt, it was a wrap around, and put up curtains. All right. My do rag collection. And it really, really cleaned off my sink area. That's a stain over there, by the way. But in here as well, I left the, the natural wood cabinets. But I did put a little curtain down there to hide my clothes basket and accessories. And then a wind chime in here. And then right behind the John, the Lou, um, I put that. I know, right? Videoing my toilet. Gotta love me. My nail polish station. You guys know how I love my nails. Mama's hat collection. And my hair collection. <laughs> Purses and belts and stuff. And the beaded uh, thing that my daughter made me. You remember that from the last video. And then this way again I left the natural cabinets. They're beautiful grains guys. I'm going to oil them. And above my shower. Yeah. So, yeah, right? Right? What a difference. I got to tell you, it's like living in a whole new house. The management loves it. They absolutely love what I've done in here. Um, yeah, nope, they didn't pay me for it. But you know what? It was worth it to me. I can think the supplies, everything cost me um, about 100 bucks. But, you know, I got to say... It, really worth it. Really, really, really worth it. Um, I just pull my, at night I fold up my coffee table and I pull my futon out and I sleep fine. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. That's what I've been busy doing besides working. Um, Y'all have a good day. Remember to love yourselves because if you don't love you, nobody can love you. And go pay it forward. Go do something nice for somebody. Buy them a coffee or something. Anyway, remember to have a good day and peace out. Ciao.